put these stomp grip tank pads on these come in clear and in black they also come in a different pattern they actually do work don't like the way the clear tank grips look i see some imperfections in it so i'm not crazy about those i might do those in black and the reason i put those on is because you know sometimes when i'm on the bike i slide in and it hits your little boy parts so it's not fun especially if you're going for a long ride we'll go for a little quick ride and i'll talk about that i also did the evo tech radiator guard i think it looks good so no complaints there with the evo tech uh, radiator guard also been rocking this scorpion jacket this jacket does breathe well to have armor in the elbow and shoulders it's also an armor piece that you can order for the back so there's a pocket for that so I had the channel name embroidered on it and I had the channel initials embroidered on the sleeves gave it kind of like my own little touch I've been wearing these scorpion gloves uh, this is actually my second set I got them in gray to kind of match the bike because my dogs ate the all black ones they thought they were toys hands get a little bit sweaty in the summer when it gets a little too hot the fall my hands were cold so that's why I ended up buying thrashing gloves that I did a video on so go check that out let's jump on this thing and we'll go for a ride Before without the grips, the tank is so slippery, I would just slide forward again. So the grips definitely help push myself back. And it's a more comfortable ride. Woo! This exhaust for a slip-on sounds nice. Also thinking of doing an M4 full exhaust on the AS, just because that's all that I see that's available. There's no slip-on. So I might just do the full exhaust on that. T-Rex M4 also offers a slip-on for it. So I might just do the M4. Seems like that's the go-to exhaust for the T-Rex. And I know that there's a couple other manufacturers that have it. I already have an M4 on the SV. And if I do it on the AS, I might as well just continue to do M4 on all the units that I have. With the SV, I kind of take my time also. I don't think I'm quite done yet. I love to do something with the tail section of this bike. I don't like that sparkling black on the tail. And it really just comes down to like, where can I get it done? Out here, it's almost like hit and miss on the treasure coast. You can find people to do work for you. Most of the time, they want to try to rip you off. You know, I don't tell anybody what they charge to get something done. But you got to be reasonable. And out here, people just give you some outrageous prices. I got real lucky with the company I found to do my wheels. I thought it was a fair deal. The dealership charged me a fee to take the wheels off and put them back on once they were powder coated. What I paid for, I think it was like seven, eight hundred bucks to get the whole process done. I didn't think it was unfair. It is a lot of work. Really search, you'll find really good people that do really good work at a reasonable price. I'm not looking to get anything done for free ever. I'll always pay, but I don't want to feel like I'm being ripped off. downtown Fort Pierce I really like being down here not much goes on at night you got a couple bars but nothing crazy I think in the next five to ten years this place is gonna boom I love to buy a property out here before that does happen I did look at apartments in this building but they're super expensive already anything that was affordable in this area years ago is gone you're paying a couple million dollars just to be by the water so that's out of the question. I've talked to people about, you know, possibly moving out towards Fort Pierce and people say, oh, it's ghetto, don't move there. It's bad sections in every city. I don't really care, but I would like to live somewhere in Fort Pierce. Just so I could be a little closer by the water. Got a couple cruiser sports bikes. Look how beautiful that water looks. That's what keeps me here. April and people are out on the beach already you don't get that up north till the summer it's one of the plus of living out here in Florida but in the summer it just gets so hot and humid you can't breathe out here I've also been thinking of Georgia if there's anybody with any recommendations on good places to live in Georgia leave it down in the comments below I would like to start looking at places out of the state of Florida sometime next year some will be graduating high school next May so that kind of leaves us open to live wherever we want if we wanted to leave the state of Florida Elite Davidson's one day I'll get one twenty dollars to rent me I could buy it for fucking ten bucks I should probably just put a stand right next to it. Bike life! 